Which thread lock do I need to use on my Harley Davidson? Let's get into it. Hello, welcome to Revelator Out. So very quick video here. I'm talking about, yeah, that stuff, the uh, the thread lock that we all know about. And everybody keeps on mentioning on uh, YouTube videos and uh, bike build uh, TV programs. Anyway, which thread lock should you use? on your motorcycle, on your Harley Davidson in, in this case. Now, the service manual quotes Loctite as the brand to use, right? So you can use red Loctite or blue Loctite. The choice is yours according to, well, how tight these bolts need to be and how permanent they need to be. Okay, so let's just say, for example, over your bike, you decide to put the most hardest wearing, the, the permanent, red thread locker on it well it's going to be really hard to undo those bolts even let's say when you need to break into the engine or change a few things you might have to apply some heat so applying red thread locker on any part of your bike is possibly not even needed you don't even really need to do it the only place where i would say you probably might want to think about putting red thread lock is on your brake disc bolts maybe something like that where you're not going to take them off you know they are permanent there you can apply some heat afterwards uh just to try and loosen them up if you ever need to take them off again but those are the kind of bots that you never want to come undone but, but i've got to say in the past i've just used blue thread locker but there is a case for red thread lock but anywhere else on a harley davidson or any bike well i don't know i mean let us know your thoughts you know even if the service manual tells you that you should put red thread lock on it would you do it so let us know on that one. Now, in the service manual, it also calls for a triple two uh, thread lock, which is a kind of a purplish uh, kind of color. Uh, and it's a weak thread lock. And usually this is kind of internal engine parts. They're, they're, they're for very small screws, that kind of thing. It just prevents them from coming undone but you can easily do it with hand tools and again unless you're being very specific about where you want to apply this it's you know it's it's not even a consideration however where i have used this is on the side cover bolts because you know you just don't want them to unwind but you also don't want them to have blue thread lock on there to make it a hard job to get out so you could say use a triple two this purplish thread locker on those but apart from that i would just use blue to be quite honest with you okay blue thread lock this 243 is probably the one that you want to use in most cases on your harley davidson but a word of warning whether it's red whether it's purple or whether it's blue there are actually different types within those color ranges. So if you really wanna be specific about it, you have to go by the number, not by the color. The color is just a banding of low strength, medium strength, or high strength, or ultra high strength if it's green. This is the Loctite brand I'm talking about, not any other type of brand. So Loctite 243 is probably the one that you're gonna use the most. Right. Let me get on to the next bit. Now, if you've been watching my channel recently, you'll know I've had a bit of a saga with my ACRs and trying to diagnose a problem and see what it is. Anyway, so yesterday, I finally got a brand new ACR uh, at the local dealership. And uh, it came with some white thread lock on it. And thanks for all the emails I've been getting on this as well. So I asked the guys at the dealership, I said, hey, do I have to apply any thread lock to this? And they said, no, absolutely not, there's no problem. So then I asked the second question, and probably the most important question. You see, the service manual says that you've got to apply thread locker, medium strength, which is the blue thread locker, 246, which is, is actually a medium strength, but it's a high temperature resistant or high heat, high temperature uh, type of thread locker. Because basically you're using it on your engine, on your cylinder heads, especially where it's gonna be the hottest temperatures. Now this goes up to, I believe, 400 degrees Fahrenheit, but there's a problem. The problem is that here in the UK, I can't buy thread locker 246. It's just nowhere to be found or, it can be found, but it's insanely expensive. I found a 10 mil bottle online for 24 pounds. So I thought, okay, fine, it's expensive, but I'll go for it. 
but they wanted to charge, wait for it, £180 just to deliver it to my door. That's £180 from within this country to deliver it, and that's a complete rip-off. So somebody should be ashamed of themselves there. Now, there are specialist suppliers which I could go to, but then you have to sign up as some kind of business or you have to buy in a bigger batch. And basically, I'm probably going to use this once or twice and never again. So a 10 mil bottle would be more than sufficient. But I'm being asked to either buy a 50, 100, 250 mil bottle, which I'm never going to use. And there's no way I could afford to pay the price that they want to charge for that size. So... I asked the dealership guys again. I said, okay, the, the service manual requires a 246 thread locker. I can't get it anywhere. Do you know of an alternative that I could use? Or will just 243 blue thread locker, would that be okay? And they actually said, well, yeah, it would. It would be okay. You'd be fine with that. Um, you don't need thread locker on this one, they said, but on the other ones, which I'm going to re talk or take out to inspect and redo again, they said, yeah, but I'm not so sure because you really need that high heat resistance. But even the 243, it goes up to 180 degrees fahrenheit i believe i could be wrong there but let us know in the comments below what it's resistant to so i'm saying that blue thread locker 243 is probably the thread lock of choice for your harley davidson in fact for most motorcycle applications very very rarely would you ever need to use red thread lock uh, especially on a, a bike especially on a harley davidson maybe one or two parts but that's about it purple thread lock yeah very few times where you really need that i would say only if you're getting into the engine for small fasteners would you ever really need it but apart from that i think the blue thread lock 243 is okay i'm just not convinced that a 243 this medium strength this medium range heat resistance is going to work at the top of the engine for these acrs so what's the alternative? So I did a lot of searching, as you can imagine, and I searched for all equivalent thread lockers uh, that I could find. I got into the data sheets. I worked out uh, if they were medium strength, high strength, low strength, uh, and also what their temperature range was or their temperature resistance was. And there's only one I could find that was medium strength and had a temperature resistance of up to 400 degrees Fahrenheit. And that was Permatex. So I'll leave a link in the description below. There's a picture of it there. There. and that's permatex comes in a very small little uh, tube applicator tube and just bosh away you go so uh, that's arriving tomorrow i'm going to start working on this tonight stripping it all apart but i thought i'd just bring this to you there are a few other like three bond and uh, true lock as well that are loctite alternatives but this specific 246 loctite is a tricky one to match this high heat medium strength that's what you really want so i thought do you know what let me get that permatex let me put that on instead so what i might do is do one acr with the permatex which is the 246 equivalent do the other acr with uh, the 243 and see how that goes i mean the worst that can happen is the acr will come undone again and pretty much that's what's been happening this whole time okay so what do you think of this whole thread locker thing on your harley davidson or your motorcycle or any application for that matter yes of course you need it but is it kind of overused is it oversimplified just be very specific what type you're getting or what number it is and if you're unsure if you're trying to get an equivalent you're really going to have to see what the chemical properties are of that particular type and how you use it because there are different there are different ways to using them all we can there's this red thread lock and blue thread lock is overused for me it's actually got to be more specific to what you're going to use it for what nuts what bolts what temperature range that kind of thing and also if they're oil resistant uh fuel resistant lots of different things like that that so that's something to start thinking about i suppose for me it's a bit of an experiment time now uh, i'm going to do one acr with the 246 equivalent and do the other acr in the 243 this is blue thread lock by the way and uh see how i go but there we go what thread lock we use on your harley davidson well you tell me and I'll catch you again on another video coming very soon. Ta-da.